Andrew Watson, Little Andy. You know, in my storied 30 year wrestling career, I've been in just about every type of match with every type of competitor. I've been in Japanese death matches, I've been in Taipei death matches, I've been in steel cage matches. In fact, three or four years ago, I beat former WWE Tag Team Champion Rosie inside a steel cage. Just last month, in Rio Grande, Puerto Rico, I went 27 minutes with Savio Vega in a bloody, brutal match. And he couldn't pin my shoulders to the mat. But on July 16th, at the Elks Lodge in Milwaukee, Oregon, Andrew Watson, it's you and I for the first time. Our paths have crossed before, but never inside a wrestling ring. And I'm hearing all kinds of rumors about what kind of match this is going to be. But the latest rumor I heard was that they're going to rip all the ropes off the ring, they're going to replace them with chains, they're going to wrap those chains in barbed wire, and then they're going to hang weapons from the ceiling. And that sounds to me like a devil's playground, which suits me just fine because I've been called the devil more than once in my career. You know, I just got done listening to your little video message. You know, and it was all dark and mysterious. You had the lights off. You couldn't see you. It was gloomy. You talked real slow and calm in a monotone voice like you didn't have a care in the world. But we know that's not true. We know that you're very worried. In fact, we know, Andy, that you're scared. Because a little birdie told me that last Saturday night, after your match, my intro music came blaring over the speakers. And you ran out of the arena like a little bitch. So that tells me two things. That tells me that you're scared. But more importantly, that tells me that you're dangerous. Because the most dangerous type of man is a scared man. Because once a man gets scared enough, then the survival instinct kicks in. And when the survival instinct kicks in, a man will do whatever it takes just to survive. So I know that you're going to be very dangerous on July 16th. And you know, another thing I heard in your little video message, I heard you say, Chief, I know that you don't mind the bleed. Well, you only got that half right. Not only do I not mind bleeding, I love it. I thrive on it. I don't know what happened to me when I was a kid. I don't know what's wrong in my head, but I love pain. The more pain that you inflict on me, the stronger I get. In fact, little Andy, I'll tell you a little secret. You know, whenever my old lady's in a mood for a little bit of loving, I have to have her crack me in the head with a steel chair and cut me two or three times just to get me ready because in my house, we call that foreplay. In fact, if you look at my forehead here, you can see last night, we had a pretty good time. But I'm going to tell you one thing. On July 16th, at the Elks Lodge in Milwaukee, Oregon, little Andy, you're not going to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs>